Hey guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Megan and I'm the lead spiritual advisor for the Relationship Psychics. Today, I'm really, really excited because we are going to be doing a pick a card reading and a tea leaf reading on your future spouse. So we will be looking at what your future partner will look like, what are some of their traits, their personalities, their features, and all of that and more. But before we do get started with that, I just wanted to say that if you haven't yet joined our amazing spiritual community here on YouTube, all you have to do is just hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell as well so you don't miss when we upload a brand new video or go live. Also, if you haven't already heard, we just recently launched our brand new app, Mystica Psychic Readings, which is really, really exciting because I'm on there, Court's on there, and the rest of our amazing and talented team of psychics is on there. And not only that, but to celebrate our launch, we actually are giving you $5 of free credit to get started talking to one of our psychics. So all you have to do is use the link that I put in the description box down below and download our app and then, you know, say hi to me or say hi to one of our other amazing psychics on the app. And I'm really excited to hopefully see you guys there. Oh, and one more quick thing before we begin. If you could give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button, it really helps our channel and, you know, lets us know what kind of content you guys are enjoying. So I would really, really appreciate it. And of course, make sure to comment below which card you choose because I always love hearing which card is really calling to you and, you know, whether these readings are resonating with you and what readings you would like to see in the future. So definitely make sure to comment that down below. So I wanted to really begin today by taking a few moments to really set our intention. So let us just take a deep inhale through our nose, inhaling positive frequencies and vibrations, and then exhale through our mouth, releasing all of that negative energy, all of that anxiety, and everything that we cannot control giving that back to God, giving that back to the universe in this moment. So just continue to take those deep and intentional breaths as you listen to my voice. Also, I'm actually going to just use one of my sound bowls in order to open up and align our chakras for this reading. So I'm just going to take one of my sound bowls here and just continue to take those deep breaths, setting your intention for our reading and opening up your mind and aligning your chakras. that really helped cleanse our energy here and really helped open up and align our chakras. Just remember that you are so powerful, you are so special, and you have been made by God with all of your unique abilities, all of your unique gifts and talents, and are so worthy of finding that beautiful, beautiful universal love. There is that beautiful and eternal, unconditional love out there for you. I just want you to just realize that and to let go of any of those concerns or doubts or fears of anything that you're holding on to really. Maybe it's of being alone or of not being enough, but whatever it is, whatever lies that have been fed to you or that you tell yourself, just release them. Just release them and ask for guidance from the saints, from the angels, from the divine in this reading today. I ask for clarity and guidance in this reading and just to help you on your journey and help show you that which is always and forever shall be. Who is it that is your future spouse? What do they look like? What are their character traits and their attributes? And anything that we can discover, please, we ask for your beautiful, beautiful guiding light 
to show us and enlighten us today as to the truth that always was and always shall be. Now, if you have your eyes closed, I just want you to see this beautiful frankincense incense, which I lit, and it will hopefully help guide you to the card, as well as cleanse the energy from the room today for our very intense, very detailed, and beautiful reading that we ask for God and the angels and spirits to bless in this moment. What is it that we are meant to understand? What message is it that we are meant to receive when it comes to our beautiful, beautiful future spouse? Who is our future partner and the one that God has created for us to live out our lives with in love and fullness and abundance? And now I would like to really draw your attention to the three cards I have laid in front of me. So, is any of these cards or crystals calling to you in any way? Is it card number one? Card number two? Or card number three? Take as much time as you need to, to really meditate upon this. To really allow yourself to be open to the inner light and guiding force. And just trust that inner light, trust that divine presence within that will guide you to the card that you have always been meant to receive. Once you are ready, I do have the timestamps located in the description box down below so you can jump to your particular reading. Or if you would rather, you can watch all three readings and see which parts and pieces of the message really speak to you to your heart. It's completely up to you, as this is your reading, and I am just an instrument of that which is from the divine. So again, thank you so much for just sharing in this moment with me today. Thank you for opening up to me and trusting me, and just embarking on this beautiful spiritual journey with me. And I am just incredibly, incredibly blessed and grateful to be here today. And I just want to again thank you. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so for all of my friends who chose card number one, this is going to be your reading today on your future spouse. So I'm really excited to embark on this reading with you. And I'm just, again, so grateful that you came to me and came to our channel. And just know that it's not by accident. You know, everything is woven in God's perfect will. So thank you for joining me and let's start with our tea reading today. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to pour our tea here and just ask for that divine guidance. So I'm pour in the beautiful tea leaves. Next we take our spoon here and what we're going to do is we're just going to stir What will group number one's future spouse be like? Who is group number one's future spouse? Who is group number one's future spouse? What are their traits? What are their attributes? A 
Okay, so now I'm just going to meditate upon our tea leaf image here and see what is coming to me. So, interesting, interesting. So what I'm actually seeing with our tea leaf reading to start is actually a scorpion. I'm seeing someone who is fierce, someone who is potentially fiercely loyal in some ways and who isn't afraid to stand up for the people that they love. They very much are very into just as the scorpion is, you know, definitely acting if someone is threatening the person that they love or you know, their family or trying to threaten them directly. They will have that, you know, venomous tail that is ready and willing to fight if need be. So I'm already sensing kind of a fiery spirit and that sense of protection. They may be someone who is almost prone to jealousy, I'm sensing. So someone who's protective and can be somewhat overbearing in some ways, but it's only because they are just that deeply passionate and that fiery of a personality that the people that are in their tribe, their family, the ones that they claim, they want to be protected. They want to be safe and they want them to feel loved always. So they really are very quick to be loyal to those around them. And they are definitely willing to defend the person around them too. So I feel like they will defend you too. And they may have some tendency to be somewhat jealous if you have friends or if you have you know other people in your life, they will definitely be someone who gets a little jealous, but again, that's just part of their fiery personality. That's part of their desire to almost protect you, their desire to almost have you in any way they can. And it's definitely not unhealthy. It's more so just endearing in a certain way and almost just shows you how deeply devoted they are really to you. So it's actually a compliment that they have this about them. So once again, definitely someone who's willing to fight for what they believe in, fight for the people they love, and defend that which is their own. So now that we did our beautiful tea leaf reading, I would love to move on to our first card here and see what our first card really has to say to us as well. So our first card here is empathy. Wow. Okay. So interesting empathy you know as well as venus and rose quartz so why this is so interesting to me is because empathy almost seems somewhat counterintuitive to our tea leaf reading because empathy is all about that feminine energy really coming to show but i think that what this really means in combination with our tea leaf reading is that the reason they can be somewhat protective and almost defensive of the people they love is because they do love them so deeply. It's because they are incredibly passionate. They are incredibly, incredibly loving and they can love so deeply that if you try to hurt the ones they love, you know, they will defend them. They will come after you in that way, just like a mother bear, you know, when she's trying to protect her cubs. She has that fierce, fierce devotion to her family, to her cubs, and will do what it takes to protect them. It's the same sort of love, and it's almost like a sacrificial love, I'm sensing, that your future spouse has, where they are so fierce, but it's because they love so deeply, and they really do have that feminine tenderness to them as well. I really want to mention that you know, even though they may have kind of a hard shell of an exterior, just as the scorpion that I had sensed in our tea leaf reading, they also have this tender heart. So it's kind of like they may have a shell that you need to break through, but once you do break through, you'll see that they have this really soft feminine energy and tenderness to them. They really are afraid to let people in to their shell, right? That's why they have the shell to protect themselves. But within the shell, there is that soft inside. There is that feminine, loving empathy. There is that tenderness. There is that romance and a really beautiful, beautiful heart. Just as long as you are willing to go under and dive under that shell, just as long as you know you are willing to really see what they have to offer once you get past the initial phases of dating and getting to know them and you'll see how big of a heart they truly do have. But once again, that is after getting to know them for a while. So just know that your future spouse is not someone who is easily open to everyone, 
but once you get to know them, it's definitely, definitely worth it because they are such a kind and loving and loyal person. And again, very fierce in their devotion, very fierce in their loyalty, and will do anything to protect the ones they love. So that's really what I'm getting so far. And I would love to actually pull from another deck now and see what else you can learn about your future spouse. So I'm feeling drawn to this deck and we are just going to shuffle these cards and see what comes out about your future spouse. What is your future? Ooh, okay, so that is definitely the card for us. And what do we have? Doubt. Interesting. So this card reads, offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity never arises. But you can say, free me from this prison of doubt. I cast this burden to you. Show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence. So what's interesting about this person, just as our tea leaf reading shows us, is that your future spouse does have that fiery side. Your future spouse definitely has almost like that scorpion tendency to kind of have that, you know, tough shell, tough exterior and definitely is fiercely, fiercely defending of those that they love. But as we saw with our first card, they also do have that beautiful, beautiful tenderness, that sweet, sweet heart buried underneath. And what's interesting that I'm sensing with our second card here is that doubt almost means that they sometimes doubt or they will sometimes doubt that you are fully committed to them. So they have somewhat of a self-doubt and that kind of goes hand in hand with what I said when I said that they may have tendencies to be jealous because they are just so afraid of losing you that they sometimes will doubt themselves or doubt that you are loyal to them because they are just such a loyal person themselves. So they are that fiercely loyal person. So when they see any potential threat to you or to your relationship, they tend to start doubting. They tend to start fearing because again, they are just such a big hearted person underneath their hard exterior that they're terrified to lose you, which is the light of their life. And they're terrified by that. So what they do instead is sometimes they will present this side to themselves where it seems almost like they could be cruel or could be accusing you of something. But in reality, it's only because they are just filled with so much love and passion for you and they've opened up their tender heart to you. And they're so afraid of that tender heart being broken that they start doubting that the people around them as well as themselves, they start doubting that you will remain true and not leave them and that terrifies them. So that is definitely something that your future spouse will struggle with, having that self-doubt, having that jealousy. And I just want you to know that, you know, one of the ways that you can really help them here is just by reminding them of your returned loyalty, of your returned devotion to them. And that's really what I sense can really help alleviate some of that because it's all because, again, they do have this big tender heart that they don't share with everyone, but they are sharing it with you. So just allowing them to feel secure in their relationship, I feel like is key here to them knowing within that you are not going to hurt them. You are not going to break their heart and you are there for them. So just these, this is a few things to really look out for when it comes to your future spouse. And I would love to actually pull another card from this deck. So let's just shuffle this again and see what we get. to this card so let's see what this card says challenges okay so it says unbearable situations throw you directly into god's arms if you are open please take over divine and guide the right actions please take this burden and show me your will so what i feel like this card means when it comes to your future spouse is i feel like your future spouse may have had a kind of challenging life in a lot of aspects. They may have really had their fair share of trials and tribulations and things they've really struggled with. 
And what's beautiful about them is they were able to overcome those things. And I really have a strong sense that part of the reason they have such a hard shell, just as like in our tea leaf reading indicated, that scorpion kind of shell and exterior with that venomous tail just ready, <laughs> ready to go at anyone who really threatens them or their loved ones. The reason they have that is because they're afraid because of all of the challenges that they've faced in their life already. They are just so used to being hurt and used and they are just so used to people really walking over them, really causing them so much pain and suffering. I'm already sensing too as well, they may have experienced some trauma early on in life and some troubling parts of their childhood as well. And I feel like that's probably why this beautiful and tender heart that we got with our first card had to build the shell around them, had to almost start to look out for themselves and had to almost really create that defense mechanism in order to protect that beautiful heart that they do possess. So again, your future spouse may have this tough exterior because they are so weary, they're so afraid to really let people in. And you know, they have these doubts, they have this doubt of not only, you know, they have this doubt not only of themselves, but they have doubt of your loyalty in the relationship, but it's because they've been hurt so many times, especially early on. And what I really feel like is so key for you with your future spouse is just to always remind them of how far they've come. Just always remind them of the beautiful strength that they have within them that has been able to overcome all of these challenges and these external threats that they have had in their life. Because again, they've experienced unbearable situations and they were not only able to really overcome these challenges, but they were able to still have that beautiful and tender heart. They are still able to pour out that love into you. And that's a beautiful thing to have gone through such pain, such suffering, and still be able to be in touch with that beautiful and loving empathy and that beautiful and loving heart. So. Even though they don't share that heart and that side of themselves with everyone, they are going to share that with you, which is a beautiful blessing because not only are they there to protect you, but they do have that beautiful, beautiful, empathetic, tender, loving heart and loving side to them, which they will open up and show to you. So I'm going to actually pull from another deck now and see what else we can really learn about your future spouse. So next I am feeling like shuffling this stack here and we will see what we can learn about your future spouse. So let's just shuffle here and see what your future spouse, Ooh, okay, so what will your future spouse be like? What traits will they have? What can we learn about them and your connection? So I'm sensing this is the card for us and healing is happening. So. This completely goes hand in hand with the rest of our reading so far because this card literally says, you're not broken. Trust the process, it's safe to soften. So you are literally going to be the person in their life that allows them to feel like it's safe to soften. Just like our tea leaf reading showed us that you know they are the scorpion, they have to protect themselves, they have to protect the ones they love they have this doubt, they've had to overcome all of these challenges in their life. But deep within, we see that beautiful, empathetic Venus energy. We see that beautiful, tender rose quartz and loving nature that they hold within, that's beneath and hidden under their shell. But the beautiful thing about you and the beautiful thing about your relationship with your future spouse is that it is through you and through the love that they hold for you that they will fully be able to open up, that they will fully feel safe and secure enough to soften and to really pour into you that beautiful, tender, loving heart that they really do possess. And I feel like that's just such a beautiful thing, especially when someone has gone through such intense pain, such unbearable situations in their life and have had to really build up the shell in order to protect themselves. The beautiful, beautiful thing is that you are literally going to be that light that is going to allow them to feel safe. You are going to be that person that's almost like their rock, that lets them 
no, it's okay to open up. It's okay to feel again. It's okay to love and to be vulnerable with another human being. And that is what you are going to bring to this relationship. And it's going to be truly beautiful because they will help protect you in so many ways, but you will help them to soften. And it's going to be a beautiful balance, a beautiful and harmonious relationship that I'm really sensing for you and your future spouse. So that is it for our reading today on your future spouse. I really hope you did enjoy it. I really loved it so much. And I felt like it was a really, really amazing, very deep reading. So if you also did enjoy it, I would love it if you could give this video a thumbs up and comment down below because I always love hearing from you guys and really seeing if these readings are helping you or affecting you in any way because that's definitely my goal is just to give back and to use my gifts to help you and help everyone. So I really do love it when you guys say hello in the comment section. Also, I do have another video that I think you will definitely enjoy if you liked this video. So I'm going to link it at the top of the screen right here so you can check this one out next. Anyways, that is it for today's video on your future spouse. And I really, again, hope you enjoyed this reading as well as the tea leaf element, which I included today. So I'm just sending you all of my love and blessings until next time. Bye guys. All right, so for all of my friends who chose card number two or crystal number two, this is your reading today on your future spouse. So first, I actually wanted to start this reading with a little tea reading. So what we're going to do is we are going to pour in some of our water here and there we go. And then we're just going to stir our tea as we set our intention for your future spouse. So just meditate on your future spouse, what you imagine, what you want and desire from a future spouse. And I'm just going to stir as we set our intention. Now we will flip the cup over and see what we can learn today. All right, so now I'm just going to use our frankincense and set our intention on your future spouse. Who is your future spouse? What does your future spouse look like? What character traits does your future spouse possess? Who is your future spouse? Now we will flip over our teacup and let us see what message you receive. So, wow, interesting. So what I'm actually seeing here is a mermaid. I'm seeing someone who is of the sea Perhaps they are a water sign, or perhaps they have a free-flowing sort of energy. Definitely someone who almost rides the waves in life. They really flow with the tide, and they really allow themselves to be open to the wind, to the waves. They are someone who is very curious in nature. They really definitely have a free-flowing nature, but they also have a very curious nature. So they do want to explore the depths of the ocean, or in this case, the depths of the world. They want to travel. They want to kind of go with the flow and see everything that this world has to offer. So definitely someone who is a little bit more free-flowing in nature, someone who is somehow tied to the ocean. Maybe they are a swimmer. Maybe they are just in love with the ocean. Maybe they are definitely someone who finds comfort in the waves and the ocean. And they have this free spirit about them is another really big aspect of what I'm getting. They have this ability to really, really go with the flow. And they always are wanting to explore and discover more. So let's look at our first card now and see what our first card really tells us about your future partner and spouse. So our first card here is, wow. <laughs> our first card is adaptability. So that's just exactly in line with our tea reading. 
because just as I had pointed out before, your future spouse is going to be very adaptable, is going to be very free flowing, almost like a mermaid, right? Exploring the waves, you know, going with the flow, the ocean and the natural pulse. Adaptability again, so just, you know, adapting to the ocean, adapting, you know, their free spirit. They have this beautiful free spirit about them just as mermaids do. Mermaids are all about just being one with the ocean. They're all about just letting their soul go and be free and be happy and joyful. So just being free and open and adapting to whatever is presented in this beautiful, beautiful ocean. And in this case, this world. So they definitely have that free spirit, free flowing energy. Also, I'm sensing air element. So just as air is free flowing, they also possess that element as well. So again, a very free flowing personality, someone who's really willing to adapt to your needs, adjust to whatever life throws at them. And someone who's not really uptight, but instead very creative, very free, very open-minded in a lot of aspects. So next I would love to actually shuffle this deck and see what else we can learn about your future spouse. So we are just going to shuffle here. So we're just going to shuffle here and see what we can learn. Ooh, this is definitely the card that just came out at us here. So our second card here is truth. And truth reads, when everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. So what I feel like this card really means when it comes to your future spouse is that they are definitely someone who is very truthful. They're not someone who is trying to really display something or kind of be someone else. They're very in tune with who they are and they're very open and they're very adaptable. And just in that sense, they also are very truthful because they have nothing to hide. They are just very, very free spirited. They're very in line with who they are and when they are needing to change, they will do so. They're just, again, very down to earth very in tune with nature and in tune with themselves. And what also is really coming to me right now is they are someone who doesn't feel the need to excessively talk. They are not someone who's necessarily quiet, but they're also not someone who's really pressured to always be talking. They're not someone who really craves attention is what I'm sensing. They're someone who instead is able to kind of be in the background because they are just so content in who they are. They're so content in their own truth and they're so content to just really go with the flow. You know, they'll allow other people to really shine and maybe you yourself do like being in the spotlight. And that would definitely mean a very good match because they will be totally open to letting you kind of take the lead. They will totally be open to letting you shine because they're really all about just, you know, living in their truth living in nature, exploring, and they have this inner confidence and inner knowing within that allows them to really talk when they want to talk and just be quiet when they need to be quiet. Like they don't feel any pressure either way. They're very adaptable, very easygoing, and that really goes hand in hand with the fact that they are very truthful. So I'm going to shuffle this deck once more and see what else we can learn about your future spouse. So. Okay, so that's definitely the card for us. So clarity just jumped out at us, which, you know, reads, let me trust my deepest instincts in all ways, especially when matters are unclear. May my own holy intuition always guide the way. So what I feel like is something that's very, very apparent to me about your future spouse is they, like we said before, are someone who goes with the flow. But this can sometimes be a little bit of a challenge when dealing with them because they are just so driven by their intuition. They are just so driven by what they're feeling and how they feel and almost their instincts that they sometimes can be a little bit up and down. So they really, you know, again, are just guided by that free flowing spirit. And 
it's almost like they need a little bit more direction in life, right? And I feel like you will really present them with that direction. You will give them some of that stability, some of that routine, and some of that almost grounded action, almost like an earth kind of element you will bring to the table. And that will kind of be balanced out by their free-flowing, creative, instinctual nature. So just as they are truthful, they also are very driven by their instinct, very driven by their intuition, which is a beautiful thing, but it is also something to be aware of and to kind of counter and balance out. And I do believe that you will possess the deep roots to really kind of ground them in a way and kind of allow them to be taken in when they need to. And you will also be someone who is definitely also willing to explore when that is the right thing to do in the moment. But you will kind of be able to balance them out in that way, ground them when they need it, and that will be a beautiful dynamic and relationship that the two of you will share. And our last card for this reading today, we're gonna use this deck and I'm just going to knock in my energy here and let's see what our last card is for our reading on our future spouse. Shuffling, seeing if any cards kind of come out about your future spouse. Who is your future spouse? What is the connection that you share? What can we learn about your future spouse in this reading, in this moment today? Ooh, that's definitely the card. <laughs> so this card just flew out at us, which is after the rain. So another water element I'm sensing here, and it says silver lining, relief, hope, mercy it's over acceptance. So what's interesting to me is that I feel like this card tells us that one of you, it may be them or it may be you, but you will enter into each other's life after a period of darkness. One of you will kind of be like the rainbow in the other's life. And there's definitely going to be a time of grief, a time of sadness almost kind of like that depressing energy where you almost wonder if the sun will ever shine and you will ever find that love. Maybe it's them, maybe they felt like they will never find their soulmate, they will never find their future spouse and then you enter into their life or they do for you and then it's like the sun is shining once more and there's that rainbow at the end of that cloudy and dark time in their life and that's exactly what the two of you will really create you'll create that rainbow of love and devotion and beauty. And that is going to be your relationship. Your relationship is going to be full of that beautiful, beautiful and colorful rainbow. So again, you will almost be able to just create that happiness that has really, really been needed after such a long period of rain and storm. So whether it's you or whether it's them, someone is really going to find some beauty in your connection and relationship with your future spouse. So a very beautiful thing. And I'm just really so excited for you to find this person or if you already are with this person, it's such a beautiful dynamic. So I really enjoyed this reading so much with you guys today. And you know, if you did also like this reading, I would love it so much if you could just comment below and because I always love reading your guys' comments and just when you guys say hi, I'm just always so happy. So I would love it if you could just let me know in the comments below if you did enjoy. And also I do have another video for you, which I'm going to link at the top of the screen here, which is another pick a card reading that I think will really give you more clarity too, especially if you enjoyed this one. So. That is it for today's reading. Again, I am just so blessed to have you here and to have done this beautiful spiritual reading with you today. So thank you so much for tuning in and I'm sending you all of my love and blessings till next time. Bye guys. All right, so for all my friends who chose card number three or crystal number three, this is your reading today on your future spouse. So I just wanted to start this reading actually with our tea leaf reading, which is really exciting and something a little different. So if you guys do enjoy the tea leaf reading portion, definitely make sure to let me know in the comments below. So first what we're gonna do is we're just going to pour some hot water into our cup. And then we will stir 
our leaves as we set our intention today. So just try to meditate on your future spouse and what you really desire when it comes to a future spouse. What traits, what characteristics, what kind of connection are you looking for when it comes to the person that you are meant to be with and the person you are meant to spend your life with? So as we stir our tea leaves and set our intention, just take this moment to really picture in your mind your future spouse. All right, so now we are going to flip over our cup here. And I'm going to use our sound bowl now to just cleanse the energy above our cup. All right, so now let's just think of your future spouse. Who is your future spouse? What does your future spouse look like? What traits does your future spouse possess? What connection will you have with your future spouse? Now let us flip over our teacup and see what we have here. Interesting. I'm actually seeing right now with this tea leaf reading is a rose. I'm seeing something that is very pure, blossoming, beautiful, just as the rose is incredibly passionate, incredibly pure, and incredibly deep. That's also the kind of love and connection I'm sensing that your future spouse will have. So I definitely feel like they are someone who is very pure hearted someone who almost is a tad innocent in some ways, and someone who is deeply, deeply loving, someone who's incredibly, incredibly, almost full of just this passion and this love for life, and they will pour that love for life they have into you, so it's a beautiful thing. So just as the rose blossoms, I do feel like they are going to be very physically attractive and beautiful. And I also sense that they will also be very successful in a lot of ways. So they will have a lot of talents and they will also be very admired by others. They will possess this beauty or this physical attractive nature and it will really draw other people into them. So I'm really sensing all of that, but let's look now at our first card and see what our first card says when it comes to your future spouse. So our first card here says, okay, so abundance. So what I'm sensing really this means about your future spouse is that they will be extremely abundant, not only in terms of their success, but also just they're very much a larger than life kind of personality. Like when they enter a room, everyone notices them. They're extremely abundant in not only, you know, their beauty and their personality, but also their talents. Just everything about them is just really larger than life. And that's what I'm really getting when it comes to your future spouse. Like they are going to just be able to have that ability to make others really feel that love and devotion and really draw others into them. So abundance doesn't necessarily mean that they are abundant when it comes to money. They may be, but what I'm really getting here is that they just possess just such larger than life aspects and attributes. So they have a big heart. They have a big personality. They have a big sense of self, a big, loving, caring nature, and they really are going to really pour that out to other people, and other people are really going to notice that as well. So again, they may or may not have monetary abundance, but they definitely do possess personality abundance and also loving abundance. So 
let's next shuffle this deck here and see what else we can learn about your future spouse. So I'm just going to tap my energy into this deck here. And let's see what we can learn. <gasps> Definitely this is the card for us. Um, it just completely popped out. And this card is divine timing. So this card reads, the divine brings things in the timing that we need. Nothing comes before we're prepared, nor leaves too early. May I always trust your perfect and holy timing, dear Lord. So what I'm really sensing here is that this beautiful, abundant, larger than life personality and just this person who possesses these amazing and magnetic character traits, they're really going to enter into your life at a time that you least expect it. So. It's definitely going to happen, not in a way that you have always envisioned it to. So it's going to unfold definitely, definitely according to the will of the divine versus what you expected or even wanted. But it doesn't make it any less beautiful. It actually makes it even more perfect because the will of God is perfect and the timing of the divine is perfect. So just be open to experiencing and allowing this connection to come into your life because when it does it will just overfill you with just such incredible abundance of love and of care and companionship and just everything you could ever want in a future partner so just as the rose really buds and blossoms in the time it has always been meant to so will this person blossom into your life in this divine timing so just be open to that and be receptive that this beautiful rose will come into your life when they are meant to. So I'm going to shuffle this deck again here and see what else we can learn about your future spouse. So let's just shuffle these cards here and see. So I feel like this is the card here. It kind of just slid out over there. So let's see what card this is. Mistakes, interesting. So this card reads, allow me to know it's okay to make mistakes. Let me always take care of the inner child so he or she feels loved no matter what. So there's two things I'm really getting from this right now. The first part that I'm getting is that this person who is your future spouse may be a bit of a perfectionist. They have issues with mistakes. They definitely don't like to make mistakes. And when they do, they feel a sense of guilt. And I really feel like you are almost going to provide them with that comfort and that ability to know that it's okay to make mistakes. And it's okay to not be perfect because no one is perfect. So I feel like you really will help them see their beauty and their abundance and their rose personality when they themselves can't see that. And the other aspect that I'm getting from this card is this inner child aspect. So I do have a sense that this person, this rose in your life, is going to almost be a little bit childish, but not in a bad way necessarily. They just are very naive and they really are just, you know, they're full of seeing the world in such an optimistic way that they get discouraged easily. So I feel like what's really going to be very essential for you when it comes to your future spouse is just giving them that encouragement that they need and letting them know that it's okay to make mistakes and letting them know that that doesn't mean that they are any less of that beautiful rose. Letting them know really that they are still this abundant, larger than life personality because they truly are. And I really feel like you are going to be the one to let them know that and almost really give them that security and sureness of the beautiful, beautiful blossoming person and soul that they truly are. So next I'm actually going to draw from this deck and see what we can learn about your future spouse. So I'm just going to tap my energy into this deck right now. And then we'll shuffle here and see what else we can learn about this amazing future spouse that is 
coming your way, which I do feel like your future spouse is incredibly, incredibly amazing and possesses so many beautiful traits. So this, okay, so let's see. So this card just jumped out at us. <gasps> wow, okay. So this card is the Great Mother, which literally says, surrender to the mystery, fall into her arms. So, and it literally shows us roses everywhere. So that's just incredible. So regardless of gender, I just really believe that your future spouse is going to be someone who is incredibly caring. Someone who has this huge heart, this huge love, and this huge capacity to give love to other people. And just as the mother has the ultimate nurturing and selfless love, this person, this future spouse, will also have that beautiful, selfless, and pure love. Like, they're going to be someone who's just pouring out unconditional love to other people. And what's so incredibly beautiful is you will be the person that they will pour out most of that love to. And eventually, if you plan to have children with them, they will pour out that motherly or fatherly love to those children as well. So just incredibly beautiful to see the pureness and just the incredible ability they have to care and nurture others. So I just want you to know that your future spouse will be someone who's incredibly passionate, incredibly considerate, loving, caring, and just gentle in so many ways. So it's almost like you're going to be able to be able to experience such a pure love from this person, from this rose, just as our tea leaf reading shows us. So that is it for today's reading. And you know, I really, really did enjoy this reading. I just feel like it was just so incredible and just so insightful. And I'm just so blessed to just have the opportunity to share this with you guys. So, you know, if you did enjoy the reading, I would love it again too, if you could just put that in the comments below because it really always just makes me so happy to just know that my readings are helping you guys and, you know, providing you with some clarity because that is just my ultimate goal is just to give back to you and just show you guys that love and light. So I also would love it too if you would check out this reading, which I'm linking at the top of the screen here, which is another pick a card reading on your future person. So if you did enjoy this reading, I think you will really, really love this next one and it will provide you with even more clarity on this future partner and future spouse. Anyways, that is it for today's reading, guys. I love you guys all so, so much, and I'm sending all of my love and blessings to you until next time. Bye, guys.